Good morning, everyone. This is Red Gal. I'm gonna play some more Pokemon. Uh, this is probably gonna be a. Uh, this is going to be a leveling episode. Um, we need to figure out a plan for the next gym. Actually, we need a, a big plan for the next gym because we don't have a lot of Pokemon that can actually do a lot against fairies right now. So, our starting plan uh, is to make sure. And Tristan does, uh, so Acid's a really low power move, so we're going to swap that for Venoshock, so we have a TM for it. Way more powerful, and if they are already poisoned, uh, it does double damage and can actually be really good at that point. So if we have a way to poison them and then switch Tristan in, or have Tristan poison them first, he can do a lot of damage real fast. And he is the one person who actually has enough, uh, or who is the right typing at this point. Uh, second thing we want to make sure we do right now is we've been putting this off. Nick gets to be an Arcanine. Um... Gets to learn extreme speed right away. Uh, always goes first, 80 power, very strong move. And there's a little bit of a trick here that we're gonna be abusing. Uh, I'm gonna double check real quick what the or what his stats are. Attack is primary. Okay. So one of the things with Arcanine or other Pokemon like that that uh, level up a certain way with stones is that they tend to not learn any more moves. Which is problematic in the older games, but you can do this to remember a move in this game. Which means we can do something like give him play rough, crunch, fire fang, or, fi or flare blitz because all of the moves that he can learn are instantly listed as moves for him to remember because of the way that these Pokemon work. Now, technically, I'm kind of up in the air on whether or not we should do Flare Blitz. Um, we definitely want Play Rough. Fairy type is good. Um, coverage to have. Um, so we can't do this with most Pokemon because most of them, it only allows moves that they would learn at an earlier level. But since Arcanine doesn't actually learn any moves by leveling up, it just gets its full list presented to it right now. So our choices here are Flare Blitz, which is very powerful and can cause burn, but has a uh, splashback effect where he's also going to take damage. The other one we have as an option is Fire Fang. Uh, chance to flinch, chance to burn, uh, but much lower power and has 95% uh, accuracy, so it misses on occasion. Um, I suppose the other option there is we could technically use uh, like Flamethrower. Uh, Arcanine has okay special attack. Like, it's not great, but it's not bad. And after using this move, or burn out even, or burn up even, gets rid of the fire typing. Uh, I think we're going to use Fire Fang for now. Um, it's slight, actually, Flame Wheel's just about as good. 
and doesn't have the accuracy penalty. We'll just leave it as is. We'll just give we'll just leave it as is. I'm pretty sure that a uh, flamethrower would be better. Um but I'm just gonna leave it as is for now and we'll worry about it later. Next thing that we've got, we need to figure out a good way to get some levels. Um so I think we're gonna head over let's let's head into the next area. I wanna see what the XP looks like as we're fighting some of these. Uh, Pokemon. They're in the low 30s. The ones I've seen so far in this uh, forest are in the low 30s. Uh, we can always make our way through the forest also and then uh, come back if we need to. You have to touch these mushrooms uh, in some order. I don't actually remember exactly how this works. Um, sucker punch? Don't do that. Jerk. And Venoshock one shots. Perfect. That's what we wanted to see. That is not a lot of experience, though. Kind of hoping. So one of the Pokemon that's in this region is, uh, I think is Shiantic, uh, which is a fairy grass Pokemon with high HP, which should be a four times weak to Venoshock Pokemon that gives a lot of experience. Uh, we'll see how that works out, but... Yeah. I am very confused. Okay. Well, let's hope these guys aren't too bad. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope he has three milsurts. Okay, that was a little bit of experience. Sinistee is ghost and... is it ghost fairy? I think it's ghost fairy. Let's just do another Venoshock. Nope. Not very effective, okay. Maybe it's just ghost type. Um, let's try Spark. Not taking much damage and is much faster. That should be fine. There we go. Okay, levels on Micah and Nick. Hey, Shiantic! I was just talking about you. You're four times weak. And therefore, very good for a farming experience. Thank you. And that was a lot of experience. Like I said, that's what we that's what we need. Unfortunately, they're not super common. Um Bright Powder is lowers accuracy. I mean, that's another Impidimp here. That's fine. And of course they have confusion, but we actually got a Venoshock off, so we should be. Okay. 
I do like the design on Impidim. It's kind of weird looking, but it's also really cool. Uh, toxic, yes. That... <laughs> Do extra damage and then also do even more damage with Venoshock? Is that what you said? Yes, we'll learn. Sick. Big Root is uh, good for HP stealing moves, which would have been good if we still had uh, Bagel. I'll be over here being sad. Um, Sam and Tristan. Sam and Tristan should be fine. For this, I'm not sure what types these are gonna have. But I think we'll be okay. Daring couple. Nine tails and Kirlia. That's semi problematic. Um Okay, so Kirlia is Psychic Fairy. So we wanna trade Tristan out for I'm thinking Jerry. Uh, Jared has very good special defense, uh, is a psychic type, which they're very likely to target into uh, Tristan with a psychic move, since he is weak to psychic. Um, I mean, that's not great. I guess we go uh, against Kalia here. Okay, Jared comes in. Flame charge here. Incinerate. Targets both. Not effective on either of them. Psy beam not effective there. Another lucky confusion. Okay, we're gonna use a super potion and then have flame charge going against Killy again. Um that should finish Kilia off, which means Nine Tails is the only one who's actually going to be damaged this turn. Another speed boost, uh, which means we should be able to focus down Nine Tails next time, pretty easily. Nasty plot. What? Stop boosting your. That's really scary. Um. I mean, what do we even do here? I don't think I have anything that can trade into a nine. Times. I guess Micah is four times strong against fire, but is even lower level. Has decent special defense. Yeah, I think we just have to see if we can get a kill here. The faster we kill, the better. So let's just do it. Earth power is stab. Um, and headbutt has a chance to cause flinch. That's my plan. And then it uses a physical attack. Okay. Uh, apparently it's faster than us. And apparently, it can soak up an earth power like it's nothing. Oh wait, no, that was quick attack. Duh. Okay, we're good. Super potion again. Keep Jared topped off. And then... Headbutt. Um... 
I'm gonna use this anyway after this, so might as well. And then quick attack. Because quick attack goes first. And if I want to go firster than their first, I have to use quick attack. <laughs> That's why we have it. <laughs> okay. Um, that was rough, but we got through it. And most importantly, we are going to be having a brief scene here. Because Sam is no longer a reboot. Uh, so we are going to be heading in with a final evolution Pokemon, starter Pokemon, even Cinderace. It's very powerful. Uh, also gets Pyro Ball, which is a very strong fire attack. Um. This is as powerful as that other one. It has a slightly lower accuracy rate, but it is very good and has a chance for burn. Only gets five charges, unfortunately. Um, but you know what, we'll, we'll survive. Indeedy. I don't know what type Indeedy is offhand. That's strange to me. I feel like I should know that. I th think Indeedy is psychic. See, this is a good choice. stat boosts, so we will leave Jared in and uh, just go to town with Earth Power, I guess. Indeed, he has good special defense, it looks like, but uh, Ancient Power boosted all of Jared's stats one step, so he should be able to just basically win out over time here. Aromatherapy. Um, I will actually take a moment here to heal. Probably should have tossed the leftovers on Jared, as he is very tanky. And we'll just trying a second ancient power maybe we'll get lucky nope <laughs> I don't think I have ever ever seen this many confusion triggers off side Confusion uh, damage is based on your attack against uh, your defense, so uh, Jared will not hit himself very hard if he get, if he were to get hit. Uh, Micah and Tristan. Uh, Micah needs four more levels. Eric needs to get to 38. Jared needs to get to 36 uh, for their next evolutions. Um, held item, open your bag. I would like you to hold leftovers. I would like Tristan to hold Do we have one for poison? I don't think we do. So probably needs like uh 
I mean, I guess we could just go with like, uh, what is it? The bright powder. That just gives a, a chance for the opponent to miss. It's not great here, but it'll work. Uh, and I'm actually going to swap Sam's item temporarily for the Silk Scarf. Because she's going to do enough damage with Pyro Ball that it does not actually matter if she has Charcoal or not. Hyper Potions... I genuinely don't really know the way through Glimwood Tangle. If we happen to get lucky, we did. Okay. Um, I'm gonna basically just wander into Balan Leia. This will give us the the safe point, basically, so we can warp back here, or fly back here. Um, but we are not ready for this yet. Um, I'm gonna pop into the Pokemon Center. We will save. And we will uh, do a little bit more grinding before we head back. Um, I'm still feeling like this is an okay team for this gym. Just as an offhand thought. More Grim, which is the evolved form of Impidimp. Uh, Swagger is going to cause attack to raise sharply and causes confusion. I'm really getting tired of confusion effects. That is much better than the Impidimps we were fighting earlier. Okay, we can deal with that. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try and wander back to a different area, but like even, like, go back to see if we can catch something in one of the other wild areas that we didn't clear yet. Um... That's fine. Madam? Indeedy. Figures. Okay, so another psychic type. Uh, trainer Pokemon tend to be slightly stronger. We're gonna swap Jared in. We actually have the leftovers on him now. Okay, attack bell, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use... Cosmic Power, give him a stat boost for specifically defenses, and then he's going to heal. This is going to be probably a fairly long fight, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to do an Ancient Power, one Ancient Power, uh, just to potentially get his stats up again. Specifically, this will also take his attack up. If it triggers. Or special attack, rather. So now he's got two steps on both defenses, um, one step on special attack and speed. So now we can switch over to Earth Power. Earth Power is his most powerful attack. It is also a stab attack, so it's going to do 50% extra. And it's also um, has a chance to lower special defense.
I am also definitely okay with uh, Jared getting the lion's share of XP right now because I want to get him his next evolution. Uh, it makes him even more tanky, and I would really like to have an actually good tanky Pokemon that I can swap in. Um, especially since we lost Sonya last time. Right now we don't have a good tank. Um, we have a few Pokemon that are okay at tanking, uh, or that could be okay against certain others. Um, Jared doesn't have a ton of weaknesses, isn't like a genuinely tanky Pokemon. That's what uh, they are. <laughs> like, th th that's what their stats are. It's not they also have okay uh, defenses, it is they are very tanky. So, we're okay with that right now. Uh, Eric needs to learn new moves. Uh, drill Peck, sure. I'm probably going to just. I think I'm probably just gonna see if I can get Eric up to uh, his next evolution for the gem. Like, that honestly doesn't feel like a bad call. Phantom. I guess we just finish off. It's not super effective, but it's not not effective. And he shouldn't have anything super effective against us. It's fine. Got another level, good. Slowly but surely, he'll be able to uh, make his way onto our team here at some point in the future. Can get through there. Okay. More Grim. Perfect. These guys drop pretty quick and had pretty good XP as long as they don't confuse. Perfect. Uh, no. We're not learning self destruct in a Nuzlocke. Thanks. Not that I use self-destruct regularly anyway. Luminous Moss uh, is weird, but potentially good in very specific circumstances. Uh, U-Train's actually a decent TM. Uh, not good for this section, though. Uh, we don't really need bug moves. Ponyta? Uh, Ponyta is just Psychic. Um, no, Psychic Fairy. Okay. We're getting back into my problem of nothing I have is great against Fairy. Um, which is still the problem. We don't actually have anything but Tristan that's good against Fairy. Uh, fairy types currently. Eric will be uh, in a bit. I guess we switch Eric, yeah. <laughs> or Jared in. <laughs> For safety. Yep, good call. That was a good call. I know Psybeam has a chance to cause 
uh, confusion, but this is getting ridiculous. Like, it's supposed to be a chance to cause confusion, isn't it? Stomp. Okay. That hurt more than it felt like it should have. Okay, Eric is going to... Apparently switch into a heal pulse and it will use a random agility and then we will drill pack. Okay. You do you. And we just broke the half hour mark. We're not quite where I want to be level wise, but I do want to call this video here, I think. Um, so we do still have a ways to go. Um, well, actually, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna heal up. Um, through all three of the other Pokemon I have here should be evolving to their final forms shortly. Like, we should be getting we should be getting uh, uh ball toy Corviknight, and, uh, wow, I should really remember the name of this one. Used it a ton. Anyway, yes, that one. <laughs> the final evolution of Karkul and Rolly Coley. You know, the one I actually should know what it is. Um, yeah. We should be getting all three of those soon. I think that will give us a good idea of whether we can go in with that. I also want to double check the rosters for the gym and see what else is going to show up because if they have secondary types besides fairy, like if there's a bunch of Shiantix that are grass fairy, then yeah, we can rely on our fire Pokemon a bit to get us through there without having to just use uh, Tristan. So... We'll see how it goes. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.